but what's going on toxic gamers with the success of that monkey game right these walkies are losing their mind they do not know what's going on man and the walkies are absolutely mad at it recently they even had to shut down the acolyte because it was too woke and they were not making money man <laughs> Ubisoft, man. They made Japanese homies cry with the BBC Samurai situation as well. There is a lot of drama that we gotta go over, okay? Dustborn, this game has broken a new record. We're gonna talk about it. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because you see, this is the Steam charts, right? Blacksmith Wukong apparently broke a new record. And guys, there are two sing two videos that I wanna share with you, okay? We got this video. Asman Gold went kinda crazy. He went gang gang as well. And apparently, we're hearing that, yeah, Black Blacksmith Wukong broke another record. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it was at like 2.2 million people. Now it's at 2.4 million. That's like the new peak. That's the latest peak. But however, even Dustborn, the, the game is uh, called out to be the wokest game ever. It's for the modern audience. And uh, I mean, they said that, not my words. They said that they claim that this game is special. This game is for the modern audience and all that. I'm like, okay, you know, that that's fine. That's fine. You know, that, 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 that's just fine. So last time we checked, it beat about like 81, right? So that was like the, the, the peak. Bruh. That was the peak. But however, it broke a new record, ladies and gentlemen. You're not gonna believe it, okay? Put your seatbelts on. So apparently the new record is 83. <laughs> So it broke, uh, it got two more people, right? I mean, 2% more, that's a bomb, guys, that's a bomb. We gotta celebrate it, yay, we gotta celebrate it. All right, let's get into this one here, roll it. Let's go for 83 likes, guys, let's go for 83 likes. And uh-oh, Ubisoft did something, wait for it, roll it. Uh, new Rainbow Six Operative is a disabled woman on a wheelchair with two robots. What? Okay. What? Yeah, next they're gonna add a blind sniper. At this rate, that's what they're gonna do. <laughs> what the hell is that, bro? What is happening to video I games? I can't wait for the gameplay for this to somehow be... Is this real or is this a troll post? I can't tell if that's really the new operator. I mean, I guess that it's the new operator. What is going on in video games, bro? Like, swear to God, man. I swear to God. Like, damn, bro. Like, what the hell is going on with video games? Forget the woke strap, right, for a second. Like, yeah, imagine. Imagine you have RTX 4090. Imagine you got PS5. You got Xbox Series X, right? Are these the games we're, we're left with? What? Can a brother get... What about the next-gen games? Where are the next-gen games, man? Y'all sick said that 120 FPS, 8K on the box of PlayStation, on the box of Xbox. That games are gonna be 8K, 120 FPS. This is looking worse than PlayStation 2, damn it ableistic and i don't know how it's gonna be but is it gonna be like I i'm thinking that it could probably be like abathur in heroes of the storm where it's like the robots do everything for her and then like she can't even like the only gun that she has is like some like weird pistol and so she can barely even defend herself and so you find her and you just shoot her and that's it she can't defend herself at all even though like you're shooting with your arms and not your legs like i i think it's gonna be so some kind of dumb sh I mean, Ricky the Goat, man, he just made that perfect video. Shit. There's stairs in Rainbow Six, uh, Rainbow Six? Yeah, um, well, that's, that's gonna have to change. <laughs> Guys, I wanna show you this video as well. Shout out to the homie Rev says, uh, Desu. Uh, is that how you say it? I don't know, but check this. Wait hey, what's up, guys? We're here. So today we're going to be once again talking about Black Myth Wukong. Over the past couple of days since its release, you might have seen images like this reporting on some very impressive numbers coming out from this game. And while this game has been shattering records... Damn, man. 2.1 million, right? People were expecting this game to kill it with like 400k, 500k player. And make no mistake, even if this game hit, like in my honest opinion though, even if it hit 100k people, that would have been insane. Because we're talking about game science, man. This is a... No disrespect though, but majority of the people, right, didn't know anything about them. Like, people didn't know they existed, right? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? The same way a lot of people don't know I exist, the same way a lot of people know don't know that you exist. Exactly my point. So no disrespect, right? So even if it had 100k people, it would have been a massive W. 2.4 million? You think it's crazy? And, and you know what? Like, uh, where is the modern audience? You know what? I don't even blame, like, Deathsmorn devs or anyone like that. I blame you guys out there. Why are you guys not playing this game, man? Like, damn! This is how you guys kill a game, man? 
Like at least a hundred people, man. Let's get this game to a hundred people, bro. What are you guys doing, man? In Urdu, I would like to say, yar, aise koi marta hai, bachon ki tarah mar diya inki. Inki gaane phad gayi, pancho. Yar, kya ho gaya? Yahan pe inka dawala nikal gaya. Inki maa bhane ko ki. Inka janaza nikal gaya. Ye kutte the bache mar gaye, fana ho gaye, bira khag gaya, inka bira tarag gaya. Ye bachon ki tarah mar rahe hain, yar. Ladies and gentlemen, I swear to God, man, I blame all of you guys out there, okay? I blame all of you guys out there. I I'm joking, wrong. Let me show you some All right, let's get back to it. It's on Steam. It's also been shattering the minds of games, journalists, and other activists who are praying for this game's downfall. And now they're left in an awkward situation where they have to deal with the fact that they couldn't take down Black Myth Wukong and Game Science, its developer. And now, really, their only response left, I guess, is to continue slandering this company and cope yeah. and also clickbait. So this article yeah, has been cool. making the rounds like on this. Twitter. You can read the title here from PC Games End. Black Myth Wukong drops nearly 2 million players in several hours. Now people are taking this headline and they're posting it unironically on Twitter and saying, aha, see, this was all some sort of a grift, right? These people didn't actually like Wukong. They bought it to spite the woke people and then they tried it out. They forgot people also sleep. <laughs> they forgot. <laughs> and yeah, we have been seeing this, right? And make no mistake, bro, like eventually the player is going to dip. It's gonna dip. This is when people were sleeping the hardest, my man, the hardest. This is where like everybody was like sleeping tightly and soundly. They were dreaming that, okay, man, in an hour, two hours from now, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna jump on. And you know, when people started waking up, you can see, right? People waking up, people and people falling asleep, people falling asleep, people waking up, people waking up. Oh my God, new peak. 2.4 million and then everybody's sleeping again <laughs> so i mean what the hell is going on they forgot people sleep man they forgot people sleep bro like damn but make no mistake it's a single player game right so eventually the player count is gonna dip it's gonna dip though but they made the money though they, they made the money and people are still playing the game people are still playing the game they made they made and they didn't like it and they abandoned the game and they even shared this graph from steam right here showing this massive drop off saying basically this is proof that all these people went away however if you continue the graph you'll see yep. they cut it off right here and things would not only bounce back <laughs> black myth wukong the next day would actually set another record they would break their own record from the previous day Holy. setting the all-time steam record for a single player game so already you saw 2.1 million you also saw 2.2 million and you see 2.3 million and right now the latest record is 2.4 million i'm not sure if it's gonna still keep going up PUBG or was it counter-strike i'm not sure either one one of them the top top game had a peak of 3 million people right so this game is number two right now number two it can even beat Counter-Strike. I, I believe it was PUBG. I believe it already beat Counter-Strike, but PUBG was at 3 million. I'm not sure if it's gonna beat. Does it need to beat it? Not really, though. It's killing it, people loving it. That's all that matters, right? But if it beats and it hits like 3 million, that would be nuts, man. That It already is. But if it beats PUBG, holy crap, man. Uh, a company, a no-name company. Again, no disrespect, though. People just were not aware. Uh, myself included, right? A lot of people were not aware. A no-name company comes out says refuses to bow down and bend their knee to the woke mob out there right and they they basically said no apparently we heard that that news that they said no to sweet baby ink sweet baby ink wanted to guide them and they were like hey pay us seven million dollars and we'll provide you with our guidance and essentially their guidance includes making the monkey gay and uh, diversity this and that they were crying about that crap right they ultimately said no we're not gonna give you seven million dollars and we're also not gonna let you ruin our game and game blows up bro game blows up man. and of course it's not just because they said no to the woke crap that's a factor don't get me wrong but the game is also looks very good and it, it's fresh okay and, and they always want to say that oh gamers gamers are bigots gamers are racist gamers are racist gamers don't like uh, different cultures now people love different cultures though people love traveling as well people love different cultures people want to learn new stuff People just don't want forced DEI crap in their games and forced diversity for the sake of it and making characters uh, like LGBT, this and that, for the sake of it. I mean, if it's genuine, then that's different, right? But if it's not and it's forced, people see through the bull squash, okay? That's essentially where it's at. But minus all of that, the game is apparently really good and people have never seen a game like that before. I have never seen a game like that before, right? It's uh, it's looking good, graphics good, gameplay good, story, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's super heavy with the story, but it's you know what i mean right i have not heard many people talk about that just yet but the boss battles and genuinely like gameplay looks fun as well and people are loving the game so guess what it blows up word of mouth gets spread around and also they said no to woke crap and they saw journal people saw journalists being mad over 
nothing essentially and people are like okay you know what let me just get on the game it just boosted up its sales essentially it just provided with the extra marketing right so that's why we're seeing this game blow up as well it was gonna do well on its own but because the journalists got mad over basically nothing right the game blows up even more that's where we had game at 2.3 million active players now why did this happen well this is pretty expected there are uh ups and downs when it comes to in-game player numbers yeah, because yeah. people go to sleep and the article actually acknowledges that at the very end of the article and they say yeah there's a lot of chinese players and players from yeah. similar regions and time zones and that's just when they went to bed and of course they did that because they wanted to clickbait you into looking at this article whether you're excited about this pro this prospect of losing all these players or you're angry about it you're gonna click on it and you're gonna find all it, it does make sense that china is the number one uh player for this game because uh yeah this they made this game primarily for china i i think they made it for everybody in a way that want to that want to play but they primarily cater down to their audience and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that they didn't bend the knee they don't need to and shout out to them and shout out to them crazy right Down we're talking and, and people are also saying like w communism wccp <laughs> china number one <laughs> over the woke stuff it's like i never thought that we're gonna see that day but see people don't give a damn about anything people just want a good product if a product is good you deserve the credit, you deserve the praise, people are gonna give you the praise. That's that's what I'm learning, that's what I'm learning, and that's what we're all learning, that if a game is good, Sick is gonna play it, man. Sick is gonna play, Sick is gonna play, and Sick is gonna play. And guess what? They're gonna cope, they're gonna cope, and they're gonna keep on coping, man. Keep coping, bad. All the way at the end, that they knew this is likely because people literally went to sleep, and that's why there is a community you know, applied to this, because it is engagement bait. But people have been trying to spin the narrative of certain populations supporting this game versus others not supporting this game. And you can see people trying to look at this and say baseless claims like there's only 3% of the player base from damn, the United man. States. Yeah, Mighty Keith, you, I love the guy, man. But like, damn, he's always like uh, coming in and trying to do that crap, man. Damn, Mighty Keith, come on, man. We're playing Black Myth Wukong. And if you look around, that doesn't seem to really add up. This is a global success. Obviously, it's going to have a large number of Chinese players. Yeah. It is a game developed in China based on mm. Chinese mythology. Exactly. But if you look at the PlayStation Store, for example, you'll see in the US, Italy, Norway, Germany, India, Japan, Korea, Wukong is the number one game. So it seems like this is a very global success. And on top of that, I mean, you can look with your own eyeballs. If you're from the US, look at uh, Twitch right now and, and YouTube, all the videos and streams and the amount of hype that is surrounding Black Myth Wukong. Now you think about where did they get that 3% number and other people are using this. Well, it seems like this is the main source. People are getting that 3% number in, in terms of players from the US who play Black Myth Wukong. And of course, as pointed out by Mark Kern, there is- And, and even if that's the case, who cares? Even if that's the case, like seriously, who cares, bro? Like, like listen, I rather, okay, I rather, if I was the, the main guy behind this company, uh, the game dev, if I was a game dev on it, yeah, bro, I don't care. People, 2.4 million people playing my game. Do I want 2.4 million or do I want 83? <laughs> like, exactly, bro. And okay, let's say 3%, okay, 3% of the US audience is playing it. It's still like, the number would be approximately 100K, maybe a little bit less, give or take, right? Uh, yeah, right? Like, i rather take 50,000 people from the US playing my game than 83! Than 83! Bruh. Bruh! Like the video if you agree. Let's go for 83 likes, guys. Let's go for 83 likes, man. No data Wrong. cited by this claim. They just say, oh yeah, China has 88% of the players, US 3%, so on and so forth, but they have no actual data to back it up. But people don't really care because this fits their narrative that people mm. in the US weren't supporting this game and they're just running with it, even though there's no data to back up this claim. They just don't really care because it serves their narrative. And of course, now, like I said earlier in the video, a lot of these games journalists have to face the reality of Black Myth Wukong and its success. Because if you're at somewhere like IGN, you have to talk about Wukong. It is the biggest thing in gaming right now. It's shattering records. You can't just bury your head in the sand and act like it's not happening, especially since IGN and all these other games yeah. journalists have been routinely slandering Game Science, the developer of Black Myth Wukong, for months on end with very debunkable claims. So now they're. You, you cannot say. You cannot spell IGN. Uh, you, not, you cannot spell ignorant without IGN. 
<laughs> right? I mean, this is the same company, right? Like, I I'm not sure if you guys remember this when Stellar Blade was coming out. I cannot show you that meme image, you know, with the Last of Us Abby, the Brock Lesnar, getting his ass cheeks pounded in 4K. I, I cannot, because the videos get hit, like, I... Yeah, and, and then I have to edit my videos out and take it out and send in for a review, like, they always... YouTube is doing that, right? So I cannot... But just visualize it, right? So, yeah, Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade uh, got a lot of criticism from IGN and all that. And there was one IGN employee that said that if you play... I kid you not, man. It was big news. And we made we covered that news a while back. Everybody was covering it, right? I kid you not. One of the IGN employees said that if you play Stellar Blade, you're going to end up beating your wife up. I kid you not, bro. I kid I kid you not, bro. Like, it was wild. It was wild. I mean, first of all, gamers don't have wives, okay? Like, like first of all. And secondly, if they do have it, they're not gonna beat up their wives simply because they are playing Stellar Blade. They might beat up their meat, but, like, Bruh. they're not gonna beat up their wives. Like, come on, man. What are we talking about, man? Damn, homie. And, of course, of course, like, uh, I saw them come in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Facing yeah. something. They, they gotta talk about this game that they've been actively trying to sabotage for months. And you can see IGN right here was the main proponent of the hit pieces on game science. You can see their much debunked article here from a few months back. But now, they're happily reporting that Black Myth Wukong is a great success in terms of players. So they are literally switching teams just because they know they have to talk about this and they're trying to act like they're on the side of Wukong. It's a very obvious switch up here. But I think the funniest yeah. example of this is PC Gamer. You can watch in real time a meltdown here. So here's one article posted yesterday at precisely 2 p.m. It's titled, We asked Black Myth Wukong's developer about the controversy over mm. its founder's past sexist remarks, but Game Science's only reply was, no comment. In other words, they told you to piss off because they're tired of dealing- Keep asking them, suckers! ...with you and these baseless accusations, these sexist remarks they're referring to are social media posts that were likely intentionally mistranslated to make the developer look sexist when he was not making any sexist comments. So you see this posted at about 2 p.m. And one hour later, they post this titled, Black Myth Wukong should be your first Souls-like game. So one hour, they're saying that this developer is not responding to these serious allegations. The next hour, they're making a post encouraging you to play this game. I mean, are they like bipolar or something? What's going on? Well, <laughs> things start to add up when you look at the author of the one article named Andy Chalk. So you can see right here, he is the author of the uh, article here trying to go after the developers. And he is clearly not handling the success of Wukong very well because you can see right around that time, he also released another banger on the Twitter here. <laughs> Titles, watch a latex clad billionaire punch out poor people in the debut gameplay trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. So yes, this is an unironic article fuming about the fact that Batman beats up criminals. So I don't know why this makes someone so mad. Like, that's, that's a weird thing to be mad about. Criminals getting beaten up by Batman. And also, Stupid. like, are you confusing poverty with criminality? It's very strange. But people have been clowning on that article. And uh, Andy's on his personal account here uh, fuming about it, saying, Boy, some people sure are sensitive. It's weird. No, your article about Batman was very weird. But anyways, there's some other articles I want to show you. This was posted okay. on Facebook by Nintendo Enthusiast, who's taking a different route. They're continuing with the narrative that Black Myth Wukong and its developers are not promoting any sort of diversity. Yeah. Right? You can see this headline saying, we all share a common... They, they essentially wanted the, the monkey to be gay in the game. That's 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 what they mean by diversity. Just, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. That's what, what they, they meant. Bro, like, leave the monkey alone, bro. Leave the monkey alone. And I said this billion times already, right? You know, the y Yasuke, right? Real life person that Ubisoft use. I know I sound like a broken record, but I need to clarify it. I need to not even clarify, but it it's facts, though. It's facts. They made Yasuke gay when the real life person was not, bro. Like, damn, homie. That's one of... That's so disrespectful, man. And again, the opposite is, tr opposite is true, too, right? If the real life person, Yasuke, was gay, then of course, makes sense to make him gay in the game. That would be appropriate to do it, because he was in real life. But, see, he was not, and they were like, he's black, let's put him in the game, and let's make him gay, though. They always do that, man. Every time uh, you see a black woman or a black person in game, you're gonna see they're gay. Dustborn, how many TV shows recently that are coming out where you see a black person being made gay? They always do that, bro. They always make black people gay. Holy crap, like, what, why y'all suck is doing? They are the racist ones, man. They, they are really racist towards black people, bro. Like, damn, man. 
and, and they want to turn the narrative on like gamers that gamers are racist nah bro we don't care man we don't care bro you're a good you're a good person you you a chill guy like that i can communicate with uh, play games with and you know we can hang out this and that and you're not gonna be offended when we throw jokes in yeah bro like shit shit we we play the games we talk we chill we bond and that's it bro like we, yeah who cares bro nobody no, no gamers care about like any of that we just want good games bro simple as that the target audience for anything at the end of the day of course there are yeah of course there are apps uh, absolutely people people are racist of course there are of course not even sugarcoating it of course there are but generally speaking the target audience just want a good product bro at the end of the day gamers just want a good game man like damn bro like what are we talking about like ubisoft out here dropping like this as an operator bro <laughs> this as an operator who asked for this next they're gonna add a blind sniper bro damn homie like damn bro hobby and we should stand together to make sure as many people can enjoy it as possible with this uh, caption down here black myth wukong's shameless lack of diversity is attracting the wrong type of fan. and they really added a tear holy fans clearly they're pushing the narrative made by screen rant in their early access review where they claim that the game is lacking in diversity however now that we have the game people can debunk some of these claims in the screen rant review they pretty much said they didn't see any feminine looking characters in the gameplay that they went through however as gamers now have access to go. the full game they're noticing that there's plenty of female characters in this game but, but, but see pump the brakes right this is not what they call femininity right this is the real feminine character man. this is what they want this is this is what they want this is what they want this is what they want this <laughs> this is what they want this is the the new one man this is a new normal apparently so that's what they want so the people at Screen Rant and these other journalists, they either played this game with their eyes closed or they're being intentionally disingenuous to paint that narrative and continue that narrative that Wukong is somehow sexist and not inclusive mm. enough. Mm. And on top of that, the supposed women that are so not welcomed by game science are celebrating this game. They're not only playing it, but there's also trends where women are cosplaying as the characters from Wukong. And Damn. on top of that, right now, a lot of games journalists are reeling, okay? You see the amazing success of Wukong, <laughs> but then you have a DEI on steroids right here, Dustborn, absolutely flopping beyond belief with 18 in-game players. This was hyped up a lot by games yeah. journalists, and now, of course, you see how that goes. And with the amount of, like, videos that I've seen, like, everybody clowning on this game, you would think that this game would have had more people playing the game, right? Uh, Concord, another prime example, right? 24, almost 2,400 people in closed beta, and when they opened it for everybody, 1,100 people playing the game. And that game is due for tomorrow. So, yeah, well, we're gonna see how many people it's gonna get as well, day one. But, guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. This is truly what's going on, man. Oh, my God. Check this video out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We had new gameplay leaks, high sleeks for GTA 6. And I'll see you right there.